Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I'm actually filming another video. I'm filming what I eat in a day, but I just sat down and I found this um, big bag with our old picture, with my childhood pictures and all our old pictures. So I thought I will look at them and share them with you guys and just look at them at the same time because I haven't seen them for a pretty long time now. But when I was like 12, 13, I used to love, love, love watching all my childhood videos and photos. I just love to watch them so freaking much. So I loved, I used to watch those videos like twice a week or something like that because I freaking love them so much. But the pictures, I haven't seen them in a pretty long time. So now let's look at them. I actually have two albums here. I'm just going to open and see which ones are the oldest ones. Oh my god, okay, I found this album. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this, I think this whole album is with pictures of a photo shoot that my mom did when I was a kid. So my mom had this uh, dream or like wish of dressing up her kid and just taking pictures. Just like, you know when you play with dolls and you just want to dress them up and make them look pretty and just take pictures of them and stuff like that. So my mom wanted to do, do, do that with me. And she did that when I was a kid. And unfortunately, when I grew up, I just don't, like I'm 22 now and I never like it to, you know, the fashion stuffs and going out and buying stuffs or buying clothes. I just hate to go out and buy clothes. That's the worst thing for me. So uh, my mom, when she talks about it right now, she's like, oh my God, thank God I did that when you were little because right now you don't do any, any of that. So she's like happy that kind of, she kind of got to do that when I was little and yeah okay these pictures are from that photo shoot my mom actually loves all of these pictures because she dressed me up with all of the clothes that she loved okay this one is so cute can you can you tell that that's me i don't know i feel like i look totally different from when i was a kid oh my god this is so cute <laughs> i used to love hats and my mom since my hair is super frizzy and super 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 curly and no one in my family has curly hair or like super frizzy hair and since i was the only kid in the family who had the, like curly and frizzy hair and my mom hated that so freaking much so she heard from someone else that if you cut your kid's hair like completely then it will just grow up like normal you know a silky and pre hair but that never happened but my mom cut my hair all the time like boy scouts and like completely shaved off my hair a lot of times so oh my god look at this picture i look so freaking naughty in this picture and here's another one i think it's the same picture though oh it's the same picture but in, in this one i'm looking on the side and that one i'm just looking in the front um this is the same code Oh my god, I got beaten by a dog in this court and I do remember that because I still have a big, big, big trauma of dogs and I'm just so scared of dogs because of this. So, let me tell you guys, I don't remember how old I was but I just remember that we were going on someone's wedding and it was a, such a rainy day and we went to uh, pick up someone uh, because we used to divide taxis so everyone used to like like three or four people in the same taxi. So we used to pick up everyone in their houses and just go together to the weddings. So I remember I, we stopped the taxi and I went to call my aunt. So I run to her house and her door was open. So her dog just ran out and jumped on me. I don't think he bit me, but he just jumped. And I was so little, so I got so, so, so scared. So till this day, I have that trauma. And the last time I was in my, mo uh, in my grandpa's house, I used to not come out after six o'clock because that's when they let the dog be free uh, so that he could enjoy a little bit of his day. So I used to not come out and used to not eat anything because you used to, because you had to come out of the house to go to the kitchen, which was on the side. So I would not eat dinner because I was that scared and I still am very, very, very scared of dogs. So yeah, this quote reminds me of that episode. What the hell am I doing here? I don't even know what I'm doing here. This is me totally done with the day. Like I cannot take more pictures. Oh my God. What the heck? Oh my God. This doll, 
uh, I think my brother bought it for me uh, on my birthday and my mom used to not let me play with it because you know th those dolls with the fake um, fleur that like just fall off if you play with them my mom my mom is super 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 clean and super tidy person so he, he she hated that so freaking much so I never got to play with this dog but I actually but I got to take pictures with it so I guess I was happy with it um <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, this outfit is my favorite outfit till this day. All of the outfits that I've worn in my 22 years alive, this outfit will be my favorite outfit and it will just top that. Oh my god, this one is also one of my favorite pictures ever. And I think my mom also loves this picture. Can you guys see? This one is my favorite picture of my childhood. I freaking love this and this actually came in a newspaper i don't know what or why that happened but my mom has a cut of the newspaper that this picture came in no. oh no this was the picture that came in the newspaper this one this exact outfit that got me traumatized for the rest of my life see what i mean when my mom when I told you guys that my mom used to just shave off my hair, this is what I mean. This. Look at me. She used to shave off my hair all the time just so that I could get like silky and normal hair, I guess. Even though I freaking love my curls right now, I just don't know how to style them. So I just do this. <laughs> but yeah, I totally look like a boy. Don't I look like a Punjabi kid here? I, I look like some Punjabi boy here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, next album. I don't want this video to be too long because it's already 8 minutes. So I'm trying to rush things up. But, oh, this one was... Oh my god, look how pretty my mom looks. I don't know why I'm whispering, but my mom looks so freaking pretty here. She looks bomb. This was, oh, this was on Pai Tika, which is a day that you honor your brothers. And my mom is doing that here with my uncle. And oh, this is also a picture that I freaking love. I had this as my Facebook cover for like a long time. This is such a cute picture. And this was one of my favorite shirts that I used it for like two, three years. I remember I borrowed it to in Portugal when I moved to Portugal. I still had this shirt. I'm one of those persons that if I love something, I'm going to use it until I really cannot use that piece. So I use this a lot and I'm still like that. I use, if I like something, I'm going to use it until it is completely broken and I cannot use it anymore. Okay, here, Sushita has long hair, and there is my cousin, and here's my uncle. This is so cute. When was this? <laughs> oh, there's me in the park with this t-shirt. Can you guys see? This was also my favorite t-shirt. I used it until I was nine or something. I freaking loved it so much. So I guess I had this habit of using stuff that I liked for since I was a kid. Eight years. My mom wrote here. I was eight years old when this picture was taken. Oh my god, this is this was my school uniform. Oh my god. I remember going to school every single day and using this uniform. Oh my god. I remember. The, the one thing that I remember the most is that I used to wear socks, like this long socks, and I used to tuck them in, like they just roll them because I thought it was so pretty. So I used to waste like three or five minutes in the morning just to roll my socks perfectly um, until I was like really happy with it. So I remember that. And I remember the, the, the braids. 
and the, I don't know how, how you call it, but the ribbon that my mom used to put in the braids that I remember too. And I didn't wear the tie because tie was for kids who were a little bit older than us. Like you had to be in the fives grade or something like that. I don't remember. But I remember I used to get so jealous of people wearing ties and I always wanted to wear ties. That It was my dream to wear ties. But I moved from Nepal before I could wear ties. So that dream still hasn't been realized. But this is so me. I still look like this whenever I have two braids. And this is me. This is such a ridiculous person. This is me. Definitely me. Uh, oh my god. This. I have a story with this as well. So this was a school competition. And we had like activity day or something. And I was on a play where you have to like put a spoon on your mouth and you had to put an egg there and you have to balance the egg until the finishing line and i i was in first grade or second grade i don't remember but i remember i was waiting for my mom and she came really 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 late so i was like starting crying i was so mad at her because she wasn't there and i was looking at the crowd and it was looking for my mom but she wasn't there and i started i remember starting the 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 race and i actually won the race but i i think that my mom wasn't there but my mom says that she arrived uh right when i was starting the race but this is something i still remember to this day because i won and my mom wasn't there in my point of view because i don't remember she being there but yeah i still remember this very vividly see i told you i won that day i have the proof that i won that day I think I was looking for my mom. I was really looking for my mom. Oh, this is me running. Oh, you'll never see me running today. <laughs> but this, I'm here running. These pictures are all blurry, but this is was this was when we went to India. But all the pictures are so blurred. But I remember those days so vividly. I was in second grade, and I remember so vividly everything um, that we. Um, experience in Delhi it was a really good time to be honest I freaking loved it and we met this uh, woman uh, I we don't have contact with her but we met her in a plane and I remember we traveled the whole Delhi went to places and just traveled together and after we came back after a week or something we never had contact with her we, we, like we just didn't contact each other because those times facebook didn't exist and anything nothing existed like i was in the second grade or in the first grade so we didn't we still don't have contact with her but we had a really amazing week and we traveled like the whole delhi together and it was really 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 fun time i still have a vivid memories and one of the things that happened when i was in delhi is like we were living in this um small how do you call it um, in, in this small gully and um, one day I remember that everyone started screaming and I was like what the heck happened but apparently someone had like suicide right jumped off the roof right in the house right in front of us and after he jumped like after five or six minutes there was an earthquake as well so everything happened so fast but I remember being traumatized for the next months I thought about that all the time and I, I have been a really very thinkative kid since I was a kid. Like I think a lot. I'm very emotional. I have a lot of feelings and I think a lot about stuff. So I remember I thought about that situation for a pretty long time. Like for an eight-year-old kid, that was like pretty big thing. So I, I remember that pretty vividly. Oh, these pictures are my brother's pictures, but I think I'm here somewhere. Let me <laughs> Oh my god, this is where I... Okay, my hair now. If you had seen me in ninth grade, you will not believe that this is my hair because I had such a big, thick, thick, thick hair. Like, everyone used to call me a Rapunzel in the school because my hair was so long and it was... Like, I had my hair until waist and I was 179 when I was in ninth grade. So 179, imagine having your hair until your waist and having really, really, really thick hair. So, yeah, uh, this is me <laughs> with my hair. And 
See, I used to love my curls. Like my curls were so freaking pretty, but my mom didn't know how to style them. So Science C didn't appreciate my cur my curls. I never learned how to appreciate my curls. So that is something that is total bummer. I should have definitely learned to love my curls. <laughs> totally done with life. Like I cannot deal with life anymore leave me alone i don't want a picture that's what my face is so can you see my face oh my god <laughs> oh and then i have oh, this pencil set i dreamed with it i begged my mom to buy me this pencil set and there was another set that i was completely if you are a 90s kid or if you were like in school in 2004 or 5 something like that this pencil sets with a lot of color a lot of pencils eraser and used to follow with um you know crayon pencils and stuff like that it was really 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 famous and every single kid had them i had this small one i remember uh a year before i left there was a new one that came that was so big so i remember my mom bought that for me but i didn't got to use it so i think my cousin uh, got that because we moved to Portugal so I didn't got to use that but I thought about that a lot because it was definitely my favorite thing and this is Susrita with a purse in her hand can you believe that I'm using a purse like I still hate purses purses were the stuff that I never understood why women would carry a purse because it is such a bother to carry a purse and still this day, I hate to carry purses like this. I just carry bags if I have to have, like, carry stuff with me. But, yeah. So, Sweta with her purse and a mad, once again. I have a pretty big anger issues. <laughs> I do. This is... Oh, my God. Oh, family gatherings. So we had a pretty big family and we lived in a circle like my uncle houses were on this side My house was here and my other uncle house was here and here. I don't think there was anything there So it was a pretty a, a circle and we had like um, a circle in the middle where we used to hold parties and stuff like that But everyone used to go to each other places and just have fun and party and just yeah It used to be a really fun family gatherings all the time. This was on my birthday I remember whenever we cut the cake, I used to go to everyone's places to, um, you know, deliver the cake. And I used to, okay, I'm a foodie. I'm a big, big foodie, if you guys can already not tell. <laughs> but I freaking love food. So my mommy always says that I used to eat at home and go to my uncle's place and tell them that I haven't eaten or haven't had lunch or dinner yet. So I used to eat there and then come back home again. So that is how much I love food and I loved food since I was little. Like food is everything for me. Oh my God, these pictures. There's my brother and these are my brother's pictures. So there's no Susrita. Okay, I do have more pictures that I would love to look at, but this video is already very, very, very long. So maybe I'll share that another day. Please give this video a like and comment down below if you guys want to see more pictures because I freaking love to do this. Or we can also look at my videos because those are my favorite things to do. I really love to look back and just enjoy um, I guess our past so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up comment down below if you guys want to see more pictures like this because i would love to do that and i'll also love to share with you guys my mom's pictures because she looks bomb in every single picture so yeah i'll see you guys on my next video thanks so much for watching bye